guys, this is Driving with the Miles. I'm a certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. This is about dangerous roads. So we have a really steep curve here. We have a double yellow line, and we have an edge line to the right. So I'm going to guide you through this process of navigating this road. The Chevron and Lava Sands basically tell you the process of keeping your vehicle under control and being really smooth in the curve. So we want to take our time and go really smooth in the curve. So we have great speed control. We're going nice and smooth, and we're just taking our time. We have another sign of a school zone, so we want to go slow into our turn. We want to be patient, and you want to be aware of speed limits. Typically in these areas, they're either 25 or 35, so we're going to have really nice speed control, controlling our vehicle, and going in nice and smooth into the curve. And again, the speed limit is 35. So we're just maintaining, navigating our speed uh, through this. This will be about a five minute video uh, going through this right now. So we're still driving at a really nice chill speed, having good control. You always wanna look around curves. A lot of beginning drivers do not look around curves. You wanna look around curves, you wanna be smooth, you wanna be safe, and you wanna take your time. We now have another warning sign. This is telling us that deer are present within the next mile. So you always want to be that defensive driver and you have to be aware of what's going on. So we have great speed control, but there's some incredible hills coming up. So you really need to be that defensive driver. Note, the speed limit has changed to 45. So you always want to be mindful of speed limit changes. You always want to be aware of what's going on. So we have another warning sign. This is warning us of another sharp curve to the right. So on your DMV tester road test, your tester will expect you to understand what these mean and expect you to drive in accordance to the speed limit. So I'm right at the legal speed limit, I'm taking my time, but it does get better. So I wanna maintain speed, I'm looking around the curve, the road goes to the left. How do I know? I have warning signs, they're yellow and black. You always need to know what those warning signs mean, you wanna be safe, you wanna look ahead. So I'm maintaining really good speed control, being safe, being mindful of what's going on. The sign says hidden intersection ahead. So you need to expect cross traffic. And that cross traffic can be dangerous because you're gonna have cars pulling out and cars really not being aware of the moving traffic. We're the main road, so you need to understand the rules of the right of way. So I'm maintaining good speed. Gravity is pulling me backwards a little bit, so I have to give the car a little bit of gas. I'm right at the speed limit, taking my time, having good speed control. I'm really trying to look up the hill to anticipate what's going on down the hill. So I'm looking and I'm maintaining great speed control. I see another warning sign and we have a really sharp drop off. So I really want you to watch this and know how to navigate through this. So I'm right at the safe speed limit. I'm controlling my vehicle, I'm lifting my foot, and going down really slow and controlling it. And the Chevron alignment signs tell us you really need to see this huge drop off. This is incredible. So I'm maintaining speed. It's really easy to go over speed. So you want to be smooth, you want to take your time. And if you look up this hill, it's incredible. So you want to control your speed want to be aware of what's going on and continue to look ahead. So I'm maintaining good speed control. I'm looking ahead, watching for cars, being mindful of deer and people who are not really paying attention. I'm looking ahead, having a nice smooth drive, going up the hill and just taking my time. If you find this of value, which I hope you do, I need you to subscribe to my channel, Driving With Miles. I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults, and I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. I do appreciate you.